Hi everyone. Well, I'd just like to let you know what I know about the YU-55 uh, asteroid from uh, Fox News asteroid. YU-55 size of modern aircraft carrier set to buzz Earth. So what they're saying is that this asteroid is a little bigger than uh, Nimitz class aircraft carrier and that it'll be making its closest approach to Earth at 6.28 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today, November 8th. And they quote a NASA video as saying, 2005 YU-55 cannot hit Earth, at least over the interval that we can compute the motion reliably, which extends for several hundred years. So they're telling you that it's not going to hit the Earth. Even still, some people are worried and are you know, not convinced that this is really nothing to worry about. It just so happens that today on my radio show, The Truth of Girls, on American Freedom Radio, I was talking to Francis Walsh, who's an amateur astronomer, and he's also the host of uh, the show Collision Course on Revolution Radio, which is uh, freedomslips.com, Friday nights, 8 to 10 p.m. You notice I'm always looking up in the corner, I just want to mention, because people go like, oh, you look really shifty, or how do I know you're not making stuff up? You notice every time I have to remember something, I just go like that, or I go like that, because I see it. I see, especially numbers, I, it's a weird thing, I, I just, I just look and it's like I'm downloading the stuff, so now you know why I'm always like looking around, it's because I'm looking at the stuff that I have to remember, so those, those are his show times. So anyhow, I was talking to him today on the radio, on my show, and here's what he told me. So there's the Goldstone uh, Observatory, which has been tracking this uh, since uh, 2010, and they had sent radar images of YU-55 that told them, uh, where the asteroid would fly by the Earth, and they recently recalculated this, and the orbital path had only changed by 200 meters. So their calculations are pretty accurate. I mean, this has been over some time now, and still, it's uh, they seem to know pretty well what the track is of the asteroid. Meanwhile, there are other people who are also tracking this thing, but they have a, a much larger error margin, as much as 50,000 miles. So it looks like Goldstone Observatory is a pretty reliable source for information on this. Now, apparently somebody else went out this morning, from what Francis says, and reevaluated the orbit path of uh, 2005 YU-55. And he said the orbit was wrong, and that it would actually come within 3,000 miles of Earth while um, the Goldstone Observatory uh, projection is 202,000 miles from Earth and 150,000 miles uh, from the Moon at the closest point. So there's a really big difference between 202,000 miles versus uh, 3,000 miles. And the person who recalculated this data, according to Francis, uh, probably uh, left, left some data out. Uh, actually, not probably, he, he definitely did. He uh, left out a whole day's worth of data because he said it didn't, it didn't seem to fit in with the rest of it. But uh, if, you, if you take out a whole day's worth of data, then you're, you're leaving a lot of information out of the equation. And I don't think you could come up with a very uh, reliable conclusion, uh, you know, if you're doing that. Now, another point that we addressed was that there are certain people who kind of make a career out of, you know, tracking uh, astronomical events and making predictions based on them. And, and sometimes these predictions also involve aliens and that, um, you know, the aliens are going to come and intervene. And so for people who are making those kind of uh, predictions, if, if the comet doesn't hit the Earth, then, well, it was the aliens that did it. There, there's really no way to prove that. So it's kind of a tricky thing because they make these predictions and then they just say, well, it was the aliens. And then what can you do? You can't prove it or disprove it. Now, another thing that's uh, disconcerting some people is Russia plans nuclear rocket for manned Mars mission. And apparently they're, they're going to send this rocket up into uh, space to Mars three hours before this uh, asteroid would hit its, come to the, the closest uh, point on its trajectory, you know, as it's flying by the Earth. So some people are thinking that, well, maybe it's not the aliens who are going to intercept this, but maybe it's the military, maybe it's the Russian military, uh, maybe they're actually sending this rocket up to blow up the asteroid. The thing is, apparently Mars missions have had a, a really bad success rate. They, they, they mainly fail. So why they would be sending a rocket up to Mars just today um, is, is anybody's guess. Whether they're really just trying to go up to Mars again or they're intercepting an asteroid, who knows? 
There are also some rumors, I'm just going to call it a rumor for now because I can't find any evidence to prove it, that um, a rocket is being sent up by Vanderbilt Air Force Base today in the U.S. So that would be really weird if just today when this asteroid is passing close by the Earth, um, not only the Russians but also the Americans sent a rocket up. I mean, it kind of makes people suspicious, although who knows, maybe they send rockets up all the time, but maybe it is to intercept the asteroid. And another thing that's making people suspicious is this. National emergency alert test to be held Wednesday. It's announced here that uh, on Wednesday, the Department of Homeland Security and Federal Communications Commission will hold the first nationwide test of the emergency alert system. Now, all states have these kinds of uh, systems in place and can do tests on a, on a state level, but there's never been a nationwide uh, test done. So it's the first, like Obama could just push a button and have the entire nation uh, basically listening to the government. So some people thinking, you know, well, why are they doing it now? Maybe it has something to do with this. But come on, this is like the year of the asteroid, you know, paranoia. I mean, we had what, like Comet Honda, well, Comets and Asteroids, Comet Honda and Comet Elenin, and there's Nibiru, and now there's uh, YU-55. So all these things going up in space. I never paid any attention to any of this stuff before, but this year it's like everybody's worried about what's, what's out in space, what's going to hit us. So... They're doing it. They're doing a drill. They do drills all the time. Everything is becoming more and more on a federal level in general, anyway. And so it doesn't really surprise me they'd be doing this. And uh, if it's Wednesday, well, that would be after the asteroid, anyway. So it, it, they would be really not on the ball if, if there was a disaster on Tuesday and then they did a test on Wednesday. It'd be like it's a little too late. So it looks like either this asteroid is just going to pass by, nothing's going to happen, or the Russians, or maybe the Russians and the Americans, are going to destroy it with a rocket, or maybe the aliens are going to intercept it. But in any case, I don't think that this poses any risk to us. And another thing is that there are a lot of amateur and professional astronomers all over the world who are watching the skies all the time, and if something like a, you know, a rocket comes and disintegrates the asteroid, uh, well, then they're just going to see that later on their telescope, so there should be proof of that. So if you, if you want to know if the government's lying to you, well, just, you know, listen to the people looking in the telescopes and check out the images after, because pretty, sh pretty soon the truth should come out. So that's it. Um, I'm not particularly worried about this. I'm really not. I talked to Francis today, and I, I think that he has a very, you know, level-headed approach to researching these things uh, without, you know, too much speculation. And uh, actually, yeah, just to remind you again, his show is on, uh, uh, there go the eyes again, uh, freedomslips.com, which is Revolution Radio, 8 to 10 p.m. on Friday nights. And now I'm going to be really self-conscious because I'm going to know that every time Every time I'm, I'm, I'm downloading numbers, like you're going to know that I'm doing it, but at least, I don't know, maybe before you thought I was making stuff up or whatever, so I figured I'd, I'd finally just solve the mystery for you guys. That, that's why I have a weird brain, and like I, I see numbers in, in, in the air, and I download them, you know. So that's why I can spout all these statistics. It's like weird, but anyway, works for me. So anyhow, that's his show, 8 to 10 p.m. on Friday on uh, Revolution Radio. It's called Collision Course, and uh, yeah, check it out if you're interested in this kind of stuff. And thanks for listening to me, and I'll see you next time.